What's your least favorite show? That gets my goat. Welcome to Douchebag Remo. Wait, that was the other show that we did, huh? Dupo Remo. I, I, I wouldn't have. I was just joking around. This whole episode's been a joke. I, I am gay. No, I am a woman. I was born... Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and I, we... But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can understand the whole thing. Uh, you know, I've heard people say this and that. This is feminism. That is feminism. And I, I sometimes feel sad or upset or unaccepted. I know that I'm a man, so I'm supposed to be the problem and not the victim. But I feel sometimes upset that women want man to love them for who they are inside. It can't be for their looks. It can't be for the fact that you want to copulate. And it's not 100% that, obviously, or else you do that and you move on and, and it's not love. It's not something you stick around for more of. But that's always part of, it's, it's biology. It's, it's part of the way we are. That's what we're trying to do is make more people. It's built into every animal you got to make more of you and keep your species going and all that kind of thing. And so that's always going to be part of and And men are especially driven towards that. You want to have that. And I feel a little upset when that's considered bad. You know what I mean? Evil. Yeah. yeah that's the bad thing is The, the, is the that. original sin in the mythology, Adam and Eve had sex. So they got kicked out of the Garden of Eden and... It's weird because I've read the Bible. That's not in there. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, and I'm not going to even, I'm not even going into religions, just opinion, loving someone for who they are. And everybody does that. But also loving someone because they look good and you want to get it on. Well, that's bad. That's wrong. And men are evil because that's what their main focus is. They have the on and the off switch. And that's evil. That's bad. And that's a problem, and you should overcome it. Self-flagellation. Uh, yeah, we already heard all about how you like to do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel it's kind of like a reverse sexism or something. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely digging myself a, a hole, well, even mentioning... Well, it's your turn. Even mentioning something like that. I'm not allowed to feel the victim of somebody's opinion like that. But, you know, they have... That book, and we've probably mentioned it on the show more than once, uh, there's that book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, and he goes through and he describes, this is what men think like, this is what things that they're driven towards, etc., and this is what women think like, and the kind of things that matter to them are this, and so many times I've heard people who read those books, and they're like, ah. Oh, Men are bad because they think like this. They don't think like me. They're bad. Or somebody says, women don't think like me. They're bad because they think this other wrong thing. And it, it kind of upsets me when I hear people say that because the whole point of the book in general is to get people to understand the differences so that you can treat people the right way and, and understand, oh, they're likely thinking something like this. So this is why... We're not working out together it's because we're not seeing things the right way. We're going perpendicular and hitting our heads against a wall. You know, we're like the Tron motorcycles. <laughs> one of us is going one way, one's going the other. And when those light things connect, man, one of those motorcycles is going to explode. And he's trying to get you to turn that motorcycle, that awesome 90 degree turn that those motorcycles can make. And now you're going parallel and you're not going to blow up. Just, it always upsets me when I when people, oh, men are bad because they think this way. Or women are bad because they think this way. It's not that. It's, yeah, we're different. There are differences. And, you know, not everybody's the same, obviously. But there are general differences that uh, should be acknowledged and should, you know, you need to see that that's different and figure out a way to make it work. Did you uh, have difficulty with any parts of that book? What, that, 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 did that book help your marriage? I don't know that it helped my marriage per se or not. I found it really interesting, even some of the explanations of why, you know, you, you hear people always talk, oh, men are stupid because they won't ask for directions. 
that actually go into he detail tried to explain as to why. why men don't want to ask for directions. What the- I, I, can I guess? Sure. They don't want to appear weak in front of the person. In front. They don't want to look stupid and say, well, we need somebody else's help. I can't do this on my own. That's my guess. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Yeah, men are supposed to be capable and admitting that you're not capable by saying, hey, I'm lost. Uh, maybe this random dude on the street can tell me where to go. It's admitting that you're not good enough to uh, get your family or whatever to this place that you're headed it's one of those things that's important to a man, whereas to women, that's not what's important. To most women, we'll say that's not the most important thing is being seen as capable and being the provider. But for men, that's always kind of been the thing. And so it's just interesting to see some of those things explained because I didn't know. I mean, I heard, always heard that joke made and et cetera, but... Although the men are from Mars and women are from Venus, that? Or what joke? The joke about how men won't ask for directions kind <sighs> of a thing. And, you know, they, in Cars, for example, they you know, have that, that family, the, the man and the woman... Richard Kind Minivans that are driving along and, yeah, oh, that's why I got the GPS, so I don't have to ask for directions. I never need them. And that joke just comes up again and again about how the man won't ask for directions thing. And yeah, it's not a flaw. It's not a problem with a man. It's just a difference. And it's okay for people to be different. And you just got to find a way to make things work. And everything, you know, there needs to be those kind of things about, you know, maybe warring countries. If somebody could write a Palestinians are from Venus and Israelites are from Mars or something like that kind of a book. So that they Israelites, I think, with Moses was leading them around. Uh, Israelis. Oh, and- that's what they call me. Yeah, sorry, I totally blew that one. But <laughs> you yeah. had your chance to make a salient point, and you blew it. <laughs> yeah, if they had a book like that, maybe that could help people understand each other and realize that they don't need to hate each other and kill each other. It still doesn't work. Even having that book between men and women, people read it and instead they're angry at the differences. Why don't they think like I think? They're wrong for not thinking like I think. So, whatever. To be continued. That Gids My Goat is produced under a Creative Commons 3.0 license for some reason. Uh, Well, you already said Grody to the Max, didn't you? I did. I'm sorry. What's another thing that people used to say? They said bad, meaning good. Yeah, that's almost gone away, thank God. Pretty much totally gone, yeah. Okay. It's uh, been gone for 15 years. I know I'm talking a lot, but I don't care. Because like I said, we got to fill up this time. And it's easier if... If you just go on and on and on and on and on until you start foaming at the mouth and fall over backwards. You don't think so? Well, (laughs) you don't have to edit these. Believe me, it's easier when we've got too much and I can say... All right, that's 11 minutes. That's fine right there. Yeah. Rather than if it's like four, I'm like, shoot, that's not enough. What can I do? I'm going to put outtakes from another episode of it. And I did that today <laughs> to pad out one of the short episodes. Sweet.